वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द थर्ड टाइम ट्रांजेंट रिस्पॉन्स स्पेसिफिकेशन दैट इज़ नोन एज पीक टाइम सो वॉट डज इट मीन्स इट इज़ द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रिस्पॉन्स टू रीच मैगजिम पीक वैल्यू इन द फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट सो लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ टाइम रिस्पॉन्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सो दिस इज सी ऑफ टी दिस इज टी एंड इट्स टाइम रिस्पॉन्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विल बी लाइक दिस सिंस इट इज द पीक वैल्यू एंड इट इज जीरो हियर सिंस इट इज अ पीक वैल्यू देर फोर दिस इज द फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट इन विच इट इज रीचिंग एट इट्स पीक वैल्यू सो दिस इज टाइम इक्वल्स टू टाइम टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड दिस इज द टाइम विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू रीच टू द मैगजिम पीक वैल्यू एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय T of p here t of p is nothing but peak time and exactly this definition says that the time required for the response to reach maximum peak value in the first attempt since it is a first attempt and this is the peak value and it is the time that is t of p is required to reach in the first attempt to its peak value since we have derived the value of c of t equals to 1 minus e to the power minus del omega n t under the root 1 minus del square sin omega d t plus theta on differentiating the value of c of t we get on differentiating c of t we get d by dt of c of t will be equals to differentiation of 1 is equals to 0 minus 1 over under the root 1 minus del square is constant term so we will write it outside the bracket after this we will put u into v formula of differentiation so firstly we will leave this exponential term as it is and we will differentiate this sin term so differentiation of sin will be cosine and differentiation of this omega dt plus theta will be nothing but omega d after this we will leave this sign term as it is and we will differentiate this exponential term this is all about its differentiation and the d by dt of c of t will be equals to 0 if and only if at critical point the time t is equals to this peak time that is t of p so this d by dt of c of t will be equals to 0 if we replace the t in this whole term with t of p so doing this so d by dt of c of t will be written as 0 equals to minus 1 over under the root 1 minus 
del square and in place of t we will write t of p that is peak time minus del omega n t of p cos omega d t of p plus theta omega d plus sin omega d t of p plus theta e to the power minus del omega n t of p multiplied with minus del omega n after this we take this exponential term outside the bracket so this is zero and this this term will be cross multiplied with it so it will be neglected e to the power minus del omega n t of p will be taken as a common and the remaining term will be omega d cos of omega d t of p plus theta and also minus del omega n sine omega d t of p plus theta after this we will also take this exponential term into LHS and multiply it with 0 so we will get this remaining term that is omega d 0 equals to omega d cos omega d t of p plus theta minus del omega n sin omega d t of p plus theta so we will take this sine term in the LHS so it will become del omega n sine omega d t of p plus theta equals to this term that is omega d cos omega d t of p plus theta then we take this cos term in the denominator and this del term in this denominator that is sine omega d t of p plus theta divided by this cos term that is cos omega d t of p plus theta equals to this omega d is remaining here and we cross multiplied this del omega n in the denominator since sin theta over cos theta is nothing but tan theta and also omega d is nothing but equals to omega n under the root 1 minus del square so putting all these value in this expression we got tan omega d tp plus theta will be equals to this omega d will be replaced with omega n under the root 1 minus del square and in the denominator del omega n so this omega n will be cancelled out with this omega n and we got under the root 1 minus del square over del in the RHS so tan omega d tp plus theta equals to under the root 1 minus del square over del now let under the root 
1 minus del square is nothing but sin theta. This implies that value of del will be equals to cos theta. So just substituting it in the RHS we get 10 omega d t of p plus theta equals to sin theta over cos theta. So this 10 omega d t of p plus theta will be equals to 10 theta since sin theta over cos theta is nothing but 10 theta and we all know that in third quadrant we can write it as omega d tp plus theta is nothing but n pi plus theta and in the definition we are talking about the first attempt so according to the first attempt n will be equals to 1 only so substituting n equals to 1 we got omega d t of p plus theta equals to pi plus theta and theta will be cancelled out in the RHS and LHS then the remaining term will be omega d t of p will be equals to pi then we can also write it as t of p is equals to pi by omega d so this is the formula of peak time if you like my videos then please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you